So you guys remember earlier this week I told you that I had got my new Hopsy um, subsystem. So it's here and it's all hooked up and it's ready to go and this video is basically to tell you guys about it, um, my honest opinion of it. So in the spirit of disclosure, um, Hopsy did send me the machine and the two beers for free for me to try it and tell you guys about it. So I'm going to give you my 100% honest opinion as usual. Um, so. First of all, I want to tell you about the system because I was a little bit confused at first about just like what it was and why it was pretty cool. Um, so it basically is this subsystem by Krups. So if you know Krups, they're the coffee people, I'm pretty sure. Um, so they ventured into beer and they made this awesome subsystem. So basically what it is, is in this door here, if you open it up, there is a torp. So it's these little guys. Um, they're actually the size of a growler, so they hold about um, four pints or a six pack of beer is what I think the website said. Um, so these little guys just pop right in the machine and then they have whoop, this little hose that um, weasels its way through here and so then when you pull the handle, your beer comes out. Um, so it's pretty cool. It keeps the beer fresh for a really long time, so when it's in the system, it keeps it fresh for about 15 days and when you have these guys in your fridge, it keeps them um, fresh for about 30 days. So they last a lot longer than a normal growler, which is really nice, um, unless you just down a whole growler in one sitting, which if you do, more power to you. I can't, so this is great for me because I can just go and like take a couple ounces whenever I want it. Like it's really convenient. Um, so uh, let's let's crack into it. Let's see how it goes. I haven't poured from it yet, so this will be exciting. I'm bend um, Vera Pistachio Cream Ale. So it's looking pretty good. Nice foam. I'm not going all the way because I'm afraid. And this is like the pressurizing, and sometimes when you first put it in, it'll make that noise and it scares the crap out of you. But it stops after it gets up to pressure. So if we take a look at it, it's got a pretty nice, pretty nice layer of foam there. It's not too foamy. It's not. Like, I hate when there's no foam. It's like, it's not beer if there's no foam. I don't know, that could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's see how it tastes. That was really good, actually. So I've had this beer before. I love um, Vera, the pistachio cream ale by Around the Bend. Um, it's fantastic. And this tastes pretty much like how it would if I got it on draft at... Actually, Bitter Pops was the last place I got it. Um, so yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised because I was I was a little skeptical. So fast forward a little bit in time and look at that. It's almost all gone. So clearly it was really good. I wouldn't have drank it if it wasn't. Um, so overall I really like the system. I think it's a really handy thing to have around. I think it's cool for parties, um, especially if you have like a basement bar. I think this would be really neat to have down there. It's like a cool party trick. Um, so if you do want one, um, they did give me a promo code, um, so if you want to save some money, because like I'm always talking to you guys about, I'm sad and poor, so I love saving money. Um, so with the promo code and the URL that's in the link at the bottom of the video, um, you can get the machine, two torps of beer, and then two glasses for $99, like shipped. I think that's, that's the whole cost. So that's pretty cheap, especially just to try it out. I mean, why not, right? It's beer. It can't be bad. Um, so yeah, take a look, check it out. Um, I think either way, I think this video is kind of cool just because it's it's a bit of an investment and you don't want to just go spending a hundred bucks on something that you haven't seen used. Um, so if anything, now you know. So yeah, enjoy your weekend. <laughs>